what evil lurks in the heart of men. The shadow knows. <laughs> Shadow, who aids the forces of law and order, is in reality Lamont Cranston, wealthy young man about town. Years ago in the Orient, Cranston learned a strange and mysterious secret. The hypnotic power to cloud men's minds so they cannot see him. Cranston's friend and companion, the lovely Margot Lane, is the only person who knows to whom the voice of the invisible shadow belongs. Today's drama, Murder and the Medium. One night in midwinter, Lamont Cranston and Margot Lane were sitting before an open fire in a mountain hunting lodge. Outside, the wind howled drearily around the corners of the house. And inside, the conversation turned to spiritualism. You don't mean to say that you believe in it, Lamont. No, not at all, Margot. I only remark that sometimes the facts make you wonder. They never made me wonder. No? No. Not even the Frankie Harmon case? Frankie Harmon case? Why, what was there in that to make anybody wonder? You don't know? No, I don't know. And further... You remember it clearly? Clearly not. The point I want to make... Yeah, is... Just a moment, darling. What do you say we go over the details before either of us makes a point? Now, six months before, if you remember, Percy Bainbridge, the millionaire art dealer, had been murdered. Yes. His death was a mystery until his brother, Henry, pointed out that Percy had strongly objected to a certain hoodlum named Frankie Harmon running around with their sister, Celia Bainbridge. Do you remember? I remember all about it. They tried Harmon and sent him up for life. Yeah, correct. And he was safely kept under lock and key until one night, a stormy night in early spring. One cabin left. I guess for your regular customers. I thought you were looking for a place to sleep. I'm looking for a canary. Huh? A dame, a girl, a blonde, blue eyes, about five feet six. Have you seen her? Maybe. What's her name? What do you care? I don't. Only there was a girl in here a few minutes ago looking for a fellow she was supposed to Where is she? Outside, waiting in the maroon convertible near the entrance. Oh. You're welcome. See ya. Hey, it's me. It's me, Frankie Harmon. Glad to see you, Harmon. Stand right where you are. Hey, what's My name's it? Weston. Missioner Weston. I brought the gun along in case you decide to be unreasonable. I get it. You're going back home, Harmon. So she tipped you. What? She told me, uh... Who? You know who. There's only one person in the world who was wise that I'd be at the Ivy West, and that was Celia Bain. Forget it. it. You said to live so long. Celia didn't tell you out, Harmon. She's been half crazy trying to clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Been a lawyer and judges ever since they put you away. She's even been going to a media. Media? So what? Contact the brother Percy beyond the grave. Get him to say that you didn't kill him. Hey, yeah, that's a hot one. I'm telling you the truth. Don't tell me. Save your breath and tell her. What? To stick to the media. Tell her she's going to need him. When I get through with her, the only way anybody will be able to contact her will be through a media. Dr. Gamin? Why, of course, my dear. 
shall we say in half an hour? Shall we say right now? What did Frankie you? Harmon was picked up last night at the Ivy Rest. Really? I did not know. You didn't? Should I? Seem please? He better, Dr. Gamion. You turned him in. Don't be ridiculous. I've been ridiculous. I was ridiculous when I trusted you, when I told you Frankie's plan. No, you don't think. I've stopped thinking. All I know is I got Frankie last night, and now you get yours. Bainbridge, don't. I bought it this morning, Gammy, and all for you. Let's get going. Let go of me. Let me go. Stop it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come along. Let me go. You wanted to call the police. No. No, that won't be necessary. I'll go. I missed this time, but there's always tomorrow and the next day. Get out. I'm going, Gammy, but I'm telling you now. I know my way back. What's the matter with her, Rosa? How do I know? Where did she get the idea that you turned harm in him? She's hysterical, my dear. Obviously hysterical. I'll get it. Hello. Mission to Weston, Gamion. I guess you were informed we picked up Frankie Harmon last night. Yes, thank you. I, I can't talk very really much right now. I'll do the talking. You'll get your money for turning him in sometime today. Very good. Not so very good. What do you mean? Take care of yourself, Gamion. Harmon's escaped again. What? We lost him on the way from the jail to the pen. And I think he may get around to see you. No. He's loose. And he's always dangerous. Can't you catch him? We're doing all we can. Force is working overtime. There's an additional reward of 5000 for his recapture. Who offered it? Somebody who doesn't want Harmon paying any social calls on Celia Bainbridge. Henry Bainbridge? Who else? I'm going to call the police headquarters, Hilda. Yes, Mr. Bainbridge. Oh, and if Miss Celia calls, uh, say I'll be back in an hour. Yes, Mr. Bainbridge. He's looking straight ahead and whistled something pretty. Who's that? One of the three you, Henry. Hope you don't mind my hiding in your car. Who is it? Where's your dear little sister, Celia? I, 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 I don't oh, know. Well, Henry, unless you want to steal in gray skull. He sold me out to the cop. But she didn't harm him. You're, you're, you're wrong. What do you mean wrong? Nobody else could have. Somebody did. Will you let me tell you who did? You can try. He is in being a medium. A man named Gamion. Gamion. Where does he tie in? She trusted him. She told him everything she knew, including the fact that you'd be at the motel. You're leveling with me? Yes. Where does he live, this witch doctor? 560 Denham Street. That's all I want to know. Pull over. Now, see here, I'm a nice... I only told you this to protect you. You're, you're in enough trouble all Pull over, I said. Now stop the car. But well, why? Because you shouldn't drive when you ain't feeling well, Henry. Says I'm not feeling well. I do, Henry. Oh! I do. We are, Margot. The commissioner just has to stop off here for a moment. Don't take long, Margot. Maybe a matter of life and death. Life and death? The commissioner wants to urge a certain gentleman to leave town until Frankie Harmon is safely stowed away. Who is a certain gentleman? Here's his name on the bell. Dr. Rudolph Camion. Oh, uh, my name is Weston. This is Mr. Cranston and Miss Wayne. How do you do? Yes. Uh, you're Mrs. Camion? Yes, sir. We'd like to see your husband. I'm afraid you will have to wait. My husband is communing with the dead. I'm afraid the dead will have to wait. This is police business. Come along in, Margot. Just tell him we're here. But he does not wish to be disturbed. He doesn't wish to wind up in a wooden box, either. What do you mean? Your husband's life is in danger. No. Where is he, Mrs. Gamion? Here, you say I'm through. Thanks. Dr. Gamion! Dr. Gamion! The door is not locked. Listen? No. What do you mean it isn't? As tight as a drum. He never locks that door. Dr. Gamion! The lady's not going to answer, Commissioner. What do you mean? Stand aside and I'll demonstrate. Mr. Lamont! Your husband won't have to communicate with the dead anymore, Mrs. Gamion. Ruta! From now on, he'll have on this spot information. He can kill. Did you hear the shot, Mrs. Gamion? No. Why not? I, I was out. I had just come in the moment before you knocked. So Harmon beat his pillow. You're sure it was Harmon, Commissioner? Well, of course I am. I am not so sure it was Harmon, Mr. Cranston. I am not so sure at all. 
What do you mean? Celia Bainbridge was here today. Celia Bainbridge? She thought Rudolph had turned Harmon into the police. She tried to kill him right before my eyes, and when she came, she said she would be back. You're accusing her of this murder? No, not yet. Before I accuse anybody, I want to show you something. What? You will just come with me. The man is a sliding pain. Rudolph used it in his gift. This is the room when he kept with the Christmas, you see. I'll show you something. My... Oh, Mr. Camion. Mr. Camion. Where's the light? I've got it. There. Look. Mr. Camion. She's shot. Well, but they fire through the window and got away down the fire escape. They killed her. It's a bad guess, Margo. Not that they didn't try hard enough. I doubt she's even seriously wounded. Where are you going, Commissioner? Call the hospital. I'm not thinking. What's the matter on your toes, Weston? And if I were... Take her to a room and call a doctor. One you can trust. A man from medical department at headquarters. One who can keep his mouth shut. Home, Henry. Well, what do you want from me? A chance to blow this town. Look at his 
stood after me. I'm to... not asking you. This gun's telling you. You think I'm going to help an escape murderer evade the law? You're wrong. Then we can just close the meeting right now. No, no, no. Don't shoot. And get it up. What are you asking for? A fast car and $10,000 in small bills. But I haven't got that kind of money in the house. Open up the wall safe behind you and let's take a look. I tell you Open it. Or do I? That would be a little difficult, wouldn't it? You don't know the combination. Okay, Henry, if you want to play nasty, I'm your boy. I'll give you just three to get moving or the gun gets a workout. Please, I haven't got, got a chance. chance to open the safe. One. Two. Three. Oh, 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 oh. We're right a second too soon for this. All right, Harmon, let's move. Pick up that gun, Bainbridge. Yes, sir. Now leave this up with your copper. All right, I don't make it, Harmon. There's a toss-up between your gun hand and Bainbridge's wife. Now, come on, before... Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Are you hurt? Not much. You were nearly minus a brother, Miss Bainbridge. Oh, boy, Bainbridge was going to kill me, Celia. You're in harder water than ever, Harmon. Too bad you didn't come quietly the last time I had you. Why? So he could spend his life in prison for a murder he didn't commit? Okay. Now he can spend his life in prison for a couple of murders he did commit. What? What do you mean? What murders? Dr. Gamion and Dr. Gamion. He didn't kill Gamion. Oh, no? No. Look, what time was Gamion killed? Last night. A little after seven. I was with Frankie from two o'clock yesterday afternoon until an hour ago. He wasn't out of my sight for a minute. You're trying to tell me... I am telling you. He couldn't have killed Gamion. Sounds very guessing to me. Oh, you've got to believe it. I called you and told you where Frankie was, didn't I? Would I have done that if I didn't know he was innocent? Well, I'm um... warning you, Commissioner, she's in love with Harmon. You mean she's taken an alibi to protect him? Don't you think she might? It's... It's hard to know what to think. You know, Commissioner... I'm afraid there's only one person who can tell us who killed Dr. Gamlin and his wife. Who? Dr. Gamlin. What are you talking about? As I remember, he wrote an article for the papers a few months ago, promising to return after he died. Are you suggesting... I'm suggesting we give him a chance. Father, have you lost your mind? I mean it, seriously. I don't want any part of this monkey shine. You can wait outside the door and see that nobody escapes. Don't worry, I will. It's worth a chance. Gamlin might return and name his murderer. Now, Mr. Bainbridge, turn out the lights. Quiet. Concentrate. Open your mind. Be ready to hear a voice from beyond the grave. Dr. Gannon, we need you. If you can return, if you can get through to us, speak. Dr. Gamion, we're waiting. Dr. Gamion, if the person who killed you and your wife is in this room, speak. Speak to us, we're waiting. What's going on in here? This is some kind of a trick. Hey, what are you trying to pull here? A flame? Turn on them lights. Turn them on, you hear them? There. Oh, the room's empty. Oh, it can't be empty. I heard somebody laugh at I heard a boy. You heard me, Frankie Harmon. Who are you? I am the shadow. Where are you? And here in this room, but you can see me no better in the light than the dark. What are you doing here, Shadow? I've come to say that the guilty shall not escape. What do you mean? I mean that the Gamion's murder will soon be revealed from beyond the grave. Are you saying that Gamion is going to appear? No, someone else is going to appear. Someone who's just been with him in the outer world. Who? His murdered wife, Madame Gamion. Madame Gamion? Open the door and see. It is. No. Speak, Madame Gamion. It's impossible. What is that, I tell you? Who murdered you and your husband, Madame Gamion? My husband has sent me here. Yes? To say that the man who killed... No! Stop it. Don't let it leave. Henry. Please go away. Go away. What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. Henry Bainbridge murdered Dr. Gamion. No. Nor was it his first murder. I... The only person who suspected him was Gamion. 
Gamion didn't go to the police. Instead, he played on Henry's devout faith in spiritualism. Gamion trained Henry of every cent he had by threatening to have Percy come back from the dead and denounce his murderer. When Harmon escaped, Henry saw his chance to get Frankie to murder the medium for him and release him from his troubles. But Celia forestalled that, so Henry committed the murder himself, knowing that the world would accuse Harmon of his crime. Yes, he killed Rudolph, and then he was afraid my husband had told me too much, so he tried to kill me. Right? Right? And you're not dead? No. And this was just a fake, a trick? <laughs> a trick that worked, Henry. Yes, it worked, Shadow, but it isn't the last trick. What do you mean? I mean, I have Frankie Harmon's gun, and this time, Madam said it will be authentic. Look out, Madam Gallion. Is the plan over, or do I... Oh. Henry. <laughs> Henry. Now take it easy, baby. Anybody ever had it coming. Lucky I came in, eh? Just wondered if the fan was over. Yes, Commissioner. The fan is over. Harmon case from beginning to end. Yes, I remember, but I still don't see what that has to do with spiritualism, Doc. After all, it was a fake. Every part of it was a fake. We found that out. Margot. Yes? Do you remember the record we heard in the room behind the sliding panel? Yes, the voice of Tracy Green, did you? Mm-hmm, right. Now, of course, it, it might have been made by an actor that Gamion hired. Well, of course it was. It was just part of Dr. Gamion's phony plot to blackmail Henry. Nothing supernatural about that, Doc. Hmm, no, there is something supernatural about prophecy. Prophecy? Yes. A voice on that record foretold the future. The future? Yes, ma'am. Said the time was drawing near. The truth will soon be known. Well? The time was drawing near. Just a few hours later, the mystery was solved. The truth was no Weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The shadow knows. <laughs> Ha, 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 